It must be real frustrating for you pilots to watch these same type of accidents happen over and over again, but that's why we're making this video to go over NTSB final report, Midland, Michigan, September 1st, 2020. They're saying it was fuel starvation. There were two on board, a married couple, one fatal, and the pilot was seriously injured. They hit this grass mound, had enough energy to go over the top and land here. They probably thought they had a nice emergency landing in a flat field with wide open space, and then they hit that mound. You can see they must have hit it pretty hard because it bent this whole front end, and they probably went flying into the front. And uh, this is the aircraft. It was a Piper PA-24, a Comanche, and uh, November 5939 Papa was the tail number, as you can see. This is what happened. So the pilot reported that he has little recall of the accident portion of the flight. So maybe that is from hitting that mound so hard, but that he was likely flying this portion of the flight. Surveillance broadcast data said the, pilot, the plane took off, climbed straight up to 2,550 feet, and then it began a right turn back towards the departure airport. The last report data point showed that indicated altitude of 675 feet uh, mean sea level. The airplane struck a fence, a large grass-covered mound of dirt, before it came to rest upright. A, wit a witness on the ground heard the pilot state over the radio that they lost engine power and would be performing a forced landing. So I thought maybe, you know, if they can't remember altered mental status, it, what was the medical history of the pilot? You know, did they have diabetes? Maybe, you know, they had uh, low blood sugar or something like that. But the medical exam showed that they were up to date with their medical and um, they wouldn't be flying if they had diabetes requiring um, that type of medication. So, um, so that is counted out. But this is what the cause was, fuel starvation. You can see the tank is on the right side, on the right tank. When they found the plane crashed um, inside the right fuel tank, the bladder was not breached, but it contained no fuel. So that's even stronger evidence that it was fuel starvation. The left side, it was damaged and leaking, and there was an unknown amount of fuel because there was fuel spill um, from this uh, breach in this bladder. But because it was on the right side, you know, they didn't switch it over. This is the cockpit. Note the propellant control is full forward. The throttle is aft and bent down. And it happened, uh, they left from this Jack Barstow Municipal Airport in Midland, Michigan. This is the flight path. They went, had fuel starvation, and then tried to turn around. Um, this is the pilot information. So again, married couple, 64-year-old male and 64-year-old female. This is their hours of flight time. And then um, they had their medical exam the month prior. So all good there. But basically, probable cause, NTSB says it was a loss of engine power due to fuel starvation. Very frustrating. We see it over and over again. There's plenty of fuel in one side, and it just so happened they don't switch it over. And again, it doesn't help that these mounds here um, guarantee they didn't see it from the from the sky. They probably thought they were good to go, came in and just hit this mound square, causing the death. Um, so sad one. Hopefully some lessons are learned. I will continue the NTSB final report so that we can you know learn and it doesn't happen in vain. Um, but please subscribe to the channel if you like these type of content. This is Arfordham Keone. I'll see you guys next time.